If you've decided to core aerate your lawn, then getting the spacing right for the holes, the cores that you pull into the lawn, it's gonna make a big difference. Let's talk about spacing because it depends on what machine or tool you use to poke holes in the lawn. In other videos on this channel, I've said 24 holes per square foot is the optimal amount of holes for core aeration. That's not actually all there is to it. It has to do with the size of the hole. If you use a yard butler or any other small hand tool that pokes half inch diameter holes into the lawn, it's gonna take probably twice as many holes to remove the same amount of surface area as it is for a larger mechanical core aerator. Now, I personally have aerated my lawn using both manual hand tools and mechanical aerators. Mechanical aerators tend to pull cores that are in the three quarter inch diameter range. Three quarter inch diameter is actually removing more than twice the surface area off of the lawn for every hole. That's just math. If you're using a manual core aerator or some other aerator that pulls half inch wide cores and you do 24 holes per square foot, then you're only removing 3.3% of the surface area per square foot. If you bump the core diameter up, to three quarters of an inch and you also pull 24 cores, you're actually removing 7.4% of the surface area. That larger percentage is gonna go a long way, a lot further in amending your soil or softening it up and allowing root systems to develop deeper and wider and thicker under the ground. If you're gonna manually correlate a small area, it might be best to shoot for something above 30 cores per square foot, all the way up to 40 cores per square foot. If you're using a mechanical aerator, you probably don't need to go so high. Once you remove about 7% of the square foot surface area, that's pretty good for one season. However, here in my yard, I do it twice in a season, once in the early part of the season and once as we're going into fall. By doing it twice, using a mechanical with a three quarter inch diameter hole, I can alter roughly 15% of my soil surface and upper topsoil all in one season. That's enormous. That's a huge difference. If you want more tips about core aerating manually or mechanically, take a look at this video that I have up here. I'm sure you'll find it useful.